Well, the district says they don't want to be defined by this one incident. They say students here at Hoover High have already moved on, and now it's time for parents and community members to do the same. The Glendale School District has been investigating last month's fight at Hoover High School and has determined the whole thing was a misunderstanding. They say everyone involved has been appropriately disciplined. Those same students that were in the fight have come together through restorative circles and those students have are right now are getting along. But last week the district canceled the homecoming football game just hours before it was to take place. They say they were worried there might be violence off the field. Uh, as rumors kept coming in, it reached a critical, yes, a critical point for us and um, we wish we had enough information sooner. Maria Magasarian, whose son is on the football team, doesn't buy the district's explanation. I was at the field at four o'clock. It looked very peaceful, very clean. There was no odd looking. Pe there was nothing. She says the seniors are especially upset, and that's why many of them walked out of school in protest earlier this week. It's also why she fears more fights could break out. It might be in their eyes at the school, everything fine, but there's the outside stuff, there's still tension. Hoover's principal says the school will be having regular listening sessions for students and parents. Our Hoover community will be united as we learn from this and make our school an even more remarkable place. We're going to focus on communication, not confrontation. Megasarian doesn't think it will be that easy. I don't think it's going to be over. I just want my son to graduate. That's all. Just graduate and wash my hands of Hoover. <laughs> Now, although the school says that they will be hosting those listening sessions for parents soon, some say they're not going to wait. They say they're going to be going to a school board meeting next week to try to get some answers. We'll send it back to you. Tina, thank you.